Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Some Talented People. And as I hope you know, I'm a fairly upbeat kind of a guy. But uh, today's video is about something which, sure, in a business environment, uh, can have a massive difference. But the actual context is given is in a road safety uh, perspective. So, um, Essentially, I've said before that adults need eight to nine hours sleep a night. Many, 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 many people are on their devices in bed. They're waking up in the middle of the night to send emails. Their first thing they do in the morning is, is look at their phone. You are not sleeping adequately. Um, and so what they did is they looked at the effect uh, on performance uh, of de uh, sleep deprivation because what happens in uh, in car accidents is there's the type of sleep where you just fall asleep and you're out and then you crash but that's quite rare the much more common uh crashes through uh sleepiness are micro sleeps and uh, in micro sleeping your complete consciousness let go let's go it's like being in deep sleep so your body doesn't respond, your none of your senses work, and you quite literally snap it in and out of it. Now at 30 miles an hour, that's going to be a, uh, a significant crash, possibly a death if you go across a, a carriageway. So they did experiments to establish um, how much of a uh, deritorious uh, effect did sleep reduction have. And what they found is, let me just read it here. Yeah, okay. Um, so if you get six hours sleep a night, as opposed to nine hours sleep a night, when tested, it was as bad as those people who had not slept for 24 hours. There is a 400% increase in the number of micro sleeps. So, too many of us are in situations where we're getting not enough sleep. And the problem with not getting enough sleep is your body acclimatizes to it. So you don't recognize in yourself you're not getting enough sleep. What happens is that these micro sleeps, these errors, these mistakes, they th you think that it's part of life, but it doesn't have to be. What needs to happen is that you get a proper, regular bedtime free of devices and your bedroom, uh, apart from uh, uh, the hurly-burly of marriage, is ready for sleeping um, and that you want to aim to have nine hours. So, you know, I don't have children, but I go to bed at nine o'clock. I get up at half five because I understand the importance. Now. There was a thing in here, hold on, let me just find the page. There was a thing in here about the number of crashes that occur. And um, it looks at the findings uh, studied over, studied 7,000 drivers in the US over a two year period. Uh, the key findings show, blah, blah, blah. right. If you operate on less than five hours sleep uh, a day, you're, in, Chances of uh, having a car crash in, uh, increased threefold. Get behind the wheel of a car having just four hours sleep or less a night, and you are 11.5 times more likely to have a crash. Um, and basically what happens is that the argument that we can catch up on sleep, oh, I'll sleep at the weekend, um, that doesn't work. You cannot 
uh, cognitively perform the necessary actions to regain sleep and therefore your impairment becomes a standard fare for you so i i, I really I, this book is almost as amazing as the other one i talked about um i keep on finding things and you know i'm telling you them so hopefully you can digest them uh, but clearly if you <sighs> If you want to live, I think is is the truth of the matter. You need to sleep properly and in a regimented fashion, so that your cycle, your daily cycle, it's it's a circadian rhythm. But you need to get your circadian rhythms back into a sort of phase that they should be, um, but for the industrialization of the developed economies. All right, so I'll I'll come back with something more. Uh, <laughs> Beats tomorrow. Uh, have a great day. I'll see you again. Cheers.